Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're looking at our next changing population question as we kind of break down what's going on with some different populations of monkeys. Well, let's take a look. If the tigers in the monkeys' environment chase them up trees with strong branches for time number one, how did the environment and population change from time one to time two? So we're looking over here at population at time one, we have a large group of monkeys that are large in size, and we have a large group of monkeys that are small in size. And we know that we have our tiger that chased them, that chased them up trees with strong branches. Now, if you look at time two for our population, it has changed. We now have very few large monkeys, and we have a lot of small monkeys making up the population. So we have to decide, how did the environment and population change from time one to time two? Let's go ahead and take a look at our options. The environment only had trees with weak branches for small monkeys. So we're talking about the environment changing. Large monkeys changed to small monkeys in order to survive. So our large monkeys became the small monkeys. That's option one. Option two, the environment had both trees with weak and strong branches for both monkeys. Large monkeys had small monkey offspring that survived. So that's why we have um, more small monkeys and some large monkeys. Last but not least, the environment had only trees with weak branches for small monkeys. Small monkeys survived and passed down their genes to their offspring over time. So take a second, go through the diagram, select your answer, pause the video, and when you're ready to go over the answer, unpause the video and we'll go from there. All right. Think you got the right answer? Let's take a look. We know, according to our key concepts, that individuals inherit their genes from their parents, genes and therefore traits in a population are passed down from generation to generation. So if we have two populations at two different times, any traits that are passed down are because they inherited genes. So we know right off the bat that large monkeys can't change to small monkeys. That doesn't make any sense. Um, additionally, we also know that individuals with adaptive traits are more likely to live longer and have offspring. Individuals with non-adaptive traits are more likely to die without having offspring. So this idea that larger monkeys had smaller monkey offspring that survived doesn't make sense because, well, they have the non-adaptive traits. They're less likely to survive. Small monkeys are going to be able to survive because they can climb up those weak branches, whereas the big monkeys will and they'll break and the tiger will still be able to get them. So the only option that makes the most sense is the third option. The environment had only trees with weak branches for small monkeys. Small monkeys survived and passed down their genes to their offspring over time. So what we see is these small monkeys gave rise to these this large group of small monkeys these guys were not able to survive and that's why we don't have many of them that's the answer if you got it right congratulations uh, otherwise feel free to reach out if you need help and good luck with the rest